killer volt bikes with back rack. So where we're up to now with the City Coco build is you saw last time, and if you didn't, there's gonna be a link in the description below and there's gonna be a link upstairs here. But last time we took the original battery pack out of the City Coco. We, we took it all apart, did some surgery stuff and looked inside of it. What we found was absolutely appalling. We're probably gonna to cut to some cut scenes there. The edit will pattern me. See all this nastiness going on here, scrape cells. We weren't really feeling that battery at all. So anyway, we took the original battery out of the City Coco. We took it apart, disassembled it. What we found was absolutely shocking. So we re started reassembling a new pack for it. We hit a small obstacle in the fact of I tried to eyeball and BMS and order it on eBay thinking my optical analysis of a picture would do and ended up with a giant shield of a BMS the size of a dinner plate. So to sort that out, what I've come up with is this little scheme now. So let's go. This is the plan here. In order to streamline the form factor of this BMS, the plan is we're gonna unscrew the cover, the heat sink slash cover. We're gonna desolder these terminals and we're gonna resolder them exiting the lower half of the BMS here. So that's the plan, we're gonna do that now. As of today, you'll be able to pre-order the Kilovolt Add More Amps hoodies on the web store. They're gonna be landing and shipping on the 20th of May. So when you're ready, jump on the website, check them out. They're guaranteed. We're gonna be wearing them very soon after that date, obviously, when we've got them on hand, but they're guaranteed to add more amps to anything you have around you, be it your phone battery, be it your, what your, your scooter that you're riding, be it your e-bike, just a continuous force field of more amplification powered by Kilovolt Research Labs. So let's go. <laughs>
honest with you, full disclosure now. With so many videos going on, with us being so busy, I completely forgot to film the rest of the process. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut to an artist's impression of the next steps and I'm gonna guide you through them. So essentially, the battery's complete now. We're opening up the City Coco. We're re-soldering all the wires and reverse engineering the original lights on there. We've taken off the old display. We don't want that anymore. Thrown that in the bin. We've now added a nice computerized colorful display which goes with the Sabatron Mini. We've then sorted out all the wiring so it's not a rat's nest and made it all nice and neat and it's all in there nice and just neat, you know, that's the best way to put it. It's in there neatly. It's not just a whole bag of wires thrown in there. We've kind of tried to take some time to zip tie them together and wrap them up where we can. Now, where we're up to is the City Coco is absolutely complete. We've added the 72 volt 25AH battery. We've added the Sabatron Mini 45A controller, the color screen, everything's done now. We've added a new charging system, supplied a new charger. Now we're going to take it outside, we're going to get some shots of it, and we're going to give it a little test ride before handing it back. Let's go. Coco scooter is sick now. On the straight, I've just done 41 mile an hour and that's without even trying hard. Originally, you're probably looking about 25 to 30 mile an hour. So we've already had a vast improvement on that. And that's with the Sabatron settings turned down. We're not all the way to the max on that 45A. We're sitting at 30 amps right now, just to kind of let the phase wires chill. Nothing's going to get hot. It's going to hill climb. It's going to do everything it needs to do. So there you have it all done if you've liked today's video please like share and subscribe this has been killer volt bites thank you very much for watching See you.